Boating injury cases are, are a kind of a different animal because there's not many of them that you see on a regular basis. But who can be responsible for your injuries? There's a lot of factors that come into play. Um, of course, the operator of the boat that you're in is fully responsible for your safety. And, and if you know something happens to you as a result of his negligence, he doesn't see a break wall or something like that, uh, then you know, of course, it's an easy case and you know, he's liable for your injuries. But there some, could be some times where there's, there's a couple different boats involved in an accident and you know, the boats don't take proper care to make sure they don't come in contact with one another. So there may be a, 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 another boat involved in a situation uh, that would bring in coverage of both boats. Like I, we had indicated on, on, on many occasions, sometimes two people can be responsible for an accident. So two separate drivers of boats could be responsible. And then you, of course, have the government type situation. If, if there's a government entity that's maintaining a waterway and, and they leave something in the water that becomes an obstruction and causes a boating accident, that municipality could be on the hook. So we want to make sure that if that's happened, we want to make sure what municipality was responsible for maintaining this you know, waterway and, and whether or not they did indeed do something negligent in causing this boat to crash.